Hello, Damien. Hello, Heston. How are you doing, good sir? I've been better. I'm feeling a little under the weather right now, but I'm here. It's always good to see your beautiful face. We appreciate that. We really do. I know know you weren't really, you know, feeling that great. It's always nice, though, you know, to pull up, have a good time. Oh, yeah. Glad you were able to pull through. Without a doubt. Recording days are always good days. Yeah. Hello to all the people. What's up, guys? How's it going, everybody? (laughs) Um, Just want to start things off real quick by saying that y'all need to subscribe to our goddamn YouTube. Uh, we're uh, we're already past 1,100 listens now. We're on our way to 1,200, and there's no way there's only 26 of you guys. Right, Otherwise, like, y'all are listening what? like motherfuckers, in which case, I fuck with you 26 people. <laughs> 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 but uh, yeah, hey, check out the YouTube. It's going to be awesome. Um, I did get sick this week, so I didn't have time to get the camera set up. So again, we don't have video yet, but... I it's guarantee right, it'll be done this next week. Anticipation is building, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> I, I mean, like it though, I don't, I don't know how di- I, they're probably gonna be pretty disappointed at what we look like. <laughs> Holy dog! They'll be like, "Wow, these are the like, guys!" Ew, like we're gonna Ew. lose, we're gonna lose subscribers. Like, never mind, take the video back <laughs> off. Like, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, we appreciate oh, you guys. Man. We're on our way to twelve hundred now. That's the next milestone. Let's go. Our next, I guess. What do you think our next big milestone is? Fifteen or two thousand? I would say probably fifteen. Fifteen, 15 right? Fifteen is is pretty clutch from that's a pretty thousand cool. to yeah. that'll be pretty cool i mean that's 500 jump like yeah, without a doubt would be the next without a doubt yeah um well shout out to you guys hello it's friday we hope you've enjoyed your week so far and if you're listening to this on not a friday i hope your day is still going well right that's all we want yeah whatever <laughs> it is um let's go ahead and start things off right my name is heston and this is dame and we are definitely not experts at all at all let's go ahead and get that clank hell yeah let's get it all right, we'll go ahead and just jump straight into it. Um, I do have my shit list this week, followed by my shout outs, and then we'll get into our topics. Um, my shit list is a little weak this week. I actually didn't have anything, that's and then I thing. really thought about it. That's I didn't, dude. I know that's crazy. Yeah, it's it, not <laughs> a lot happened this week, man. I didn't do much, but um, I, I I will say that um, I, I opened up my my patio door to my bedroom earlier today because uh, Kaya likes to go in and out, and it was feeling good enough outside where I was cool with like opening things up. And then uh, this like fat ass wasp like flew into my room like from the patio and pretty much ruined like my whole mood. Right, because you're trying to find it to see where it's <laughs> yeah, at, right? So you yeah, get stung. I was like, like, oh, <laughs> come on, man. So, like, I had to, like, get up. Like, it was, like, one of those things where, look, because, like, like I said, like, you know, I've been sick, so I'm still feeling kind of, right, like, gross. Right. So it, it was just really annoying having to, like, get up and get my fly swatter and shit. I did kill it, though, which is good. So well, that is a very good thing because it yeah. can still be in your room right now and you don't know where the fuck it's at. Oh, you, that you, would suck. You have a whole, like, watchness. Bruh, like, oh, dude, shit. dude, that oh, level shit. of anxiety, like, when you see, like, a spider That's or, intense. like, a cockroach or something. And it disappears and, and you don't know. Just, it's like, bro, if I lay down, how do I know you're about to just like <laughs> run across my face, bro? Dude, oh it's my true, gosh, though. Dog. Yes, it is. You like, uh, dude, that's <laughs> rough, man. I can't tell you, like, like oh what's gosh. it called? Back in back in my my mom's place, back when I used to live with her, um, the house wasn't sealed very well, so like right. roaches would like get in. Well, like you get it, like, like water, well, like the I mean, fat they ass come up water bugs and stuff. If it's not, yeah, settled. like yeah, they would yeah, just yeah. get into the house. And um, I, I've ha- I've woken up with one in my bed like several times before, bro. bro like on me or something. Oh. Oh, bro, man. what about when it crawls on you and then you like flap and try to hit it, but you don't know if it's off of you or not? You like? Uh, I've never. For, for me, like, like I've always I've gotten always that gotten shit it? off. Yeah, there, it's that's bro, never been an issue for me. I've had a point where I felt like it was still on me, but it wasn't. And like for the like uh, next like ten or fifteen minutes, bro, I just keep like, you know, shaking my clothes and like, what the fuck, dude? Yeah. Yeah, that anxiety at its finest level. Uh, I hate cockroaches. What bug are you the or makes Co- you the most uncomfortable? Cockroaches. 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 Like without question. Without question, bro. If it's like a lizard or a moth or something else, bro, I don't care. For bro, me, it's centipedes. Roaches. See, I centipedes fuck a, scare man, the shit out of me, bro. I fuck a centipede up. You think so? Yeah. I mean, not a, not not the scary movie ones, right? That are like just like the same size as us. We oh, well, no. I but, mean, that's fucking. But bananas. like the actual like, like King Kong, King Kong centipedes man, gotta be like the scariest fucking shit I remember. I remember, <laughs> I remember when I was working at Six Flags, um, back when I was like I was like seventeen, um, I was working in the the Rattler ride, uh, yeah. but it was while they were changing it. Oh no no no! They I was in the Acme ride. It. Well, I was working there, but while they were changing it to the Iron Rattler too. Yeah. But um. 
I was uh, I, at that that day. I was working at the Acme Ride, which is like the little kitty roller coaster. The Roadrunner shit. Yeah, yeah, the Roadrunner. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So um, I was actually working in there, and I I, I was just uh, I just worked the cashier, the cash register. Right. So I'll just bring people up and shit for like candy right, and bullshit. Right, for whatever they would get. Yeah, you. and then um, this lady came over and she was like, "Hey, like I work at the zoo, and there's a centipede on the floor over there, and I actually know what kind of centipede that is, and it's poisonous, and like y'all need to like." get rid of it oh my god and like, i so was what, like, like and dude so the thing was fucking huge you bro go and kill it or well no i just i called somebody i called them and i was like there's a poisonous centipede like in our store right now and someone needs to come figure out what the fuck they need to do with it and then like this maintenance guy just kind of rolled through and like he didn't really know what to do either they just got like a net and like a broom right and just <laughs> kind of sweep it up grab yeah it and take but you want to know what fucked me up though <coughs> was like the register is right next to the door and like when the centipede went in, like it had to come through the front door, obviously. Right, you it's right and by you. It, it, well, it, so <laughs> the centipede had to either go left or go right when it either came inside to, you or away to from me you. or away from me. <laughs> and up. it went away from me, but luckily, dude, ju- right, just like that detail though, really fucked me up. Yeah, I was bro, like, bro, this... like where are we right, right now? Like, like, wait, what? I gotta worry about centipedes and shit, dude. And I even thought about it too, like feeling it, like crawl up my leg or some shit. <laughs> <laughs> right, like, bro. Oh, or what if it's God. like and it crawled up your pants leg and right. you didn't feel it, and then like right. next thing you know, it's like touching ah. your neck. And then by the time you, you realize that it, it's biting you and stuff ah. because you're jumping, it's jumping. Oh, bro, right. that's a bad situation. Right. Man. So yeah, centipedes like miss me with that, bro. Like centipedes, I, I always thought were cool though, but I love. I think centipedes centipede. are cool. I think centipedes are terrifying. I think anything with a peed on it, they're awesome characters. Okay, but. I do understand your, your <laughs> like, like, bro, I've owned a snake, but I hate cockroaches. That doesn't make sense, like, at all. No, but, no, I mean, it, I mean, it's different. People just don't understand. I'm yeah, like, bro, it's different. having a snake, I've had a dog before, too. It was, like, the same shit. It's just, this one just ate a rat, and, like. How do you feel about spiders? Nope. No? My mom Not loves, even, like, like for pets? Nope. My mom loves tarantulas. She's Does wanted she? a tarantula, like, her entire life. I'm like, get you one. She's like, well, mwah. I'm like, yeah, <laughs> you love them, but, man, do, but. I think spiders are really interesting. Um, they're they're but sick, But I don't. Dude. I, I wouldn't touch one or anything I like that. I follow people on YouTube who, like, have, like, 30 of them. Like, oh, sure. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. like, they pull them out, feed them and stuff. I mean, it looks pretty sick. Like, they come out of a nest. Yeah, like, yeah. Like, all predatory yeah, they give them like, their, grab their it and then go right shit. back in. I mean, that part looks cool, but. I mean, if it, if that thing gets out, man, like, fuck that, dude. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, that. I mean, they're all right. They're pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. All right, next on my shit list um, goes out to whatever the fuck got me sick. I don't know what happened. I'm a pretty healthy person. Uh, you know, I take my vitamins. Right. I don't go out in the rain. I can maybe <laughs> tell you, though. What's that? I got to whiff up some information, right? Source is unknown. Okay. To my knowledge. But okay. this information came from a doctor. The doctor is encouraging people to get the flu shot because Corona at this point has now evolved. And it's like not impossible for them to figure out like how to beat it, but it's just like doing its own thing now. So like it's mutating hard. So they're like, get a flu shot for real this year. Like, cause it'll probably be like really beneficial for you. And you know me, I don't get, I don't do that. I'm not getting it. Yeah. Like, I don't, I don't do that. I don't want to get either. sick. While y'all put something in me to fight getting the sickness, right. that doesn't make any sense. Right. So this year, I, I after I got that information, I'm probably going to go get it. So I just wanted to kind of throw that out there. And yeah. like you just said, bro, some just, I mean, thank God, right? See, it, the, it, the weird thing is, like, I, don't went, even, I don't even know what it was, man. Like, it it was kind of like the flu, but like, every time I've ever gotten the flu, like, I, I've got, I, I throw up, like, really bad, and it's not good. That's what I'm saying, but, dude. This time, like, it was just, like, I had a fever, and, like, I was just, my, my body was real achy. Right. And, I, um, my, like, I would just get really cold or really hot, like, really easy. Think about it, bro. And I just had, like, It was, some, like, a 48-hour thing. It was, like, no big it's deal. It's still scary, though. I just had some eye shit, like, going, like, I don't even know yeah, what that was true. or where that came from. Like, yeah. what was that? Like, well, you know, it's just, like. Well, the crazy thing for me is, like, what did I get sick from, though? Like, exa- I don't, I don't do anything. <laughs> bro, all I do is chill in my apartment. I work from home now. Like, I didn't go anywhere. I didn't interact with nobody different. Right. I just, whatever I've always done, I've been doing since Corona happened. It's true, And though. my freaking eyes were blitzed yeah. for, like, a week and a half. And I it's feel like, that. What is all this? 
are are these different strands of the virus well now? i was like, a little I mean, concerned i was like fuck like is this covid like i looked up right COVID, bro, it's and a then, little but scary. like no but the big thing for me that made me think it wasn't covid like at all is like covid is like a lung related like thing right and i wasn't coughing i had no breathing issues so i was right. like no nah, i think i'm okay like i don't think that's right. what it is still and, scary though because you don't really know that's just what they say it is well so, i mean, I like, mean no, it's been proven it's it's a lung issue it's like, tough yeah. i mean you don't really get that sick though I never get sick. Right. The only yeah. two, the two other times so, I've ever gotten sick in the last couple of years have both been from a previous job, and that's just because everyone else there right. is fucking gross. Bro, I don't get sick either, like, ever. Like, yeah, I don't, I don't ever have, like, the stuff that happened to my eyes, like, yeah. and I've had some, like, fever type, what you said stuff, but, like, I don't ever get sick. And yeah. um, when I do, I'm like, what? Yeah, like, and like I said, I'm still not 100% right now. Like, um, yeah. I'm still, like, a little lightheaded. Like, I, I still kind of need to, like, nurture myself. Right. Um, so I, I don't even think I'm going to work out tomorrow either. Like, I think I'm just going to take it easy until, like, I feel 100% again. And then I'm going to go back and get my pump. Right. But <laughs> that made me feel can... better, too, because I didn't finish my workout on Saturday. And I felt like shit about it. Like, I didn't even feel like going before. I even told myself, like, I wasn't going to go Saturday. But, like, I talked myself into it. And I went and <clears throat> i got through a couple of lifts i actually increased my weight on both my uh my heavy chest and bicep workouts which is cool but um like i was only like four four workouts in and like my heart just wasn't in it dude like the yeah. pre-workout like i had no pump i had no pump the whole time dude like right. i did not get hype at all so i was like you know like sometimes like part of working out is recognizing that like today's just not the just day not man the like day, sometimes man. you just gotta go home and then I went home, and then, like, I immediately fell asleep, and I slept for, like, five hours, dude. So, like, I don't, I think, like, like that right there, that yeah. was, like, the beginning of me, like, already not feeling good. And then, and then on crashed. Sunday, I got, like, way worse. Yeah, and then and then this morning, I woke up, and I was feeling, like, better. You know what I mean? I'm going to say that was corona, man. But your body, like, everybody has their own immune system. That's true. Like, and some people's fight a lot better than others yeah it's just what it's gonna be now they say you could do this to better your immune system and well yeah time. i mean i, mean, I take vitamin d like every right day. you know so. i should be taking zinc too but I, right. I don't know how much i'm supposed to take so depending on what people really take right that matters like me i do be eating like them weird little gummy fruit things that got vitamin d e and all like yeah, 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 i yeah. eat those like every couple of days i'll eat like eight you really only need like one or two a day, right? But yeah. I'll like, nah, bro. You gonna, you know? I have all that at my crib, dude. Like, I dig it. All kind of stuff, man. But yeah, uh, I would say you want to blame it on whatever gave it to you. I'm gonna say I'm gonna call out Corona on this. Okay. Yeah. From what though? Because like I haven't been around anybody. I don't know, bro. I just uh, I don't know. I think it's just a it's a different way of how it travels. Like okay. we don't really know anything about it. And I actually feel, I feel like Corona was actually here in 2019. To be honest. Well, it started in 2019 in China, like back in like right. November. I feel like it was like Octoberish, Novemberish. Yeah, so is when it really, really started. Mm -hmm. yeah. But I feel like it was already here though too. Pro it probably was. You know, I right. mean, it takes a while for them to be able to recognize. So that shit, the you crazy know I mean? part about it is early, like I don't know. So my stepdad passed away from like a sickness that they never saw before. Like mm -hmm. they had no idea. So they were they were literally at the point, bro. They were just trying stuff on him. Like to get them, sure. To stay alive. Like just to see if they, they could were like, do what anything. Is this like they didn't even know? And now I'm like, bro, what if he had that? Like, mm -hmm. like and that was like in the early part of the year. Yeah, you know, it's like, bro, yeah. you never know. But yeah, I mean, it's hard to tell. Like, what? How could you have really gotten it? I mean, yeah, shit's weird. It's I, like I, food, I will say maybe? this: if I did get Corona, like, I mean. It has to that be makes from me food, feel pretty bro, good, right? <laughs> well, my 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 roommate Stephen was telling me that uh, he thought it might it might have been like some kind of weird form of food poisoning it has to or be something. From food, man. But I was right. like, I was like, I don't know though. Like when you get food poisoning, like don't you usually like shit and like throw up and stuff like real bad? Because like your body's trying to get rid of that shit. You know what I mean? Right. For me, like no, it felt like like you know, like I got you a fever. Like, like got my, my body was fighting right, something right, right. off. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, <laughs> shit sucked. That's so, crazy. yeah, both of those two things are on my shit list. Like, fuck that wasp and fuck my, my body, I guess, for letting that bullshit happen. <laughs> Good thing, though, is the wasp is dead. And I'm and feeling better. You feel better. It's true. So, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so those are just, like, They're definitely temporary. shitty listy. Yeah. <laughs> um, all right, so now big boy shout-outs. Just want to give a shout-out to Sean Connery. We lost another good one, Saw man. that. Saw that. How much longer do you think Betty White goes? <laughs> Maybe to like nineties, hundred. But I think she's. How a old is she now? I think she's a reptilian. You think? <laughs> you think so? Yep. I mean, she's just gonna go you know, on forever. That, that could be a talk for another day. But yeah, I believe in reptilians. 
But you, but you think Betty White I think is Betty a White does fall under the category of a reptilian. She's 98, bro. Just still just balling out, bro. Just chilling. She could, she'll probably go to like 110. Oh, over under on Betty White. <laughs> um, 110. 110? Mm-hmm. Ooh. Mm-hmm. I'm going to go with the under for 110. I'll say 110. She's born in 1922, bro. And she's still chilling right now. It seems like it, right? Right. Uh, if you look up some picture of her right now, she's not in a wheelchair. She don't got on no, That's like, true, though. Bro, she's she's kind like of just, like, up, getting smiling around, or, just, like, doing her thing. You know what That's saying? a good point. She's yeah. still up moving around. I, I would definitely give her maybe 10 more years for sure. Damn. Right, bro. But you think about it, right? It's well, people the, are like, starting to live longer now, too, though. Like, they, they um, what's it called? I remember Elon Musk said that, like, the first people to live to, like, their 150 have already been born. Like, like those, like that, yeah. like just with the advancements and like medical yeah. advancements and shit. I, I remember he had a statement where, like, he said, like the first people that live that long have already been born, and like they'll make it that far. Which, when you think about it, it makes sense though, because like that's still like another hundred years worth of advancement, right? Like to get to that point, you know what I mean? So that actually like, makes a I lot of like sense. I feel like it's just how every human being preserves their body. So, like, they say back in the day, like, dudes, you live for hundreds of years all the time. Probably, bro, they just ate, like, healthy vegetable type. Like, <laughs> yeah, their there was bodies no, there were, was like, no fucking ten. McDonald's no or anything. No fast food yeah. or nothing, bro. Like, it, I mean, that stuff would and, make sense. And they didn't have cars or anything. or like So, like, they're they, walking they everywhere. And, yeah, they were, like, Like, they're doing fuck. everything. That's a good point. You know, so their body was so preserved and so good, they probably lived hella long. Like, me. As long as they didn't get sick. Right. You know, and then you're good. Because, I mean, they didn't really have medicine hardcore like right, that. Right, that's what right? I'm so saying. So as long as you get it, man. <laughs> Just don't get know? a compound fracture. <laughs> yeah. If you were BC, I'm so sorry. Like, you know, like, <laughs> bro, like, man, I know that, bro. BC life would have had to have been tough if any of that is, like, well, I mean, right. Well, but because of that, like, every, everybody that was back then had to be tough as fuck, uh, too, though. bro. Can you imagine living in that era? Ugh. What the <laughs> Oh my god, just dude. So like, whenever I think oh, about that stuff, right? Dude. Like, people talk about like like the medieval times and yeah. and, and, and like you know BC right. and all that shit. The thing that always gets me, bro, and and same with like zombie apocalypse too. Like the thing that always gets me is like the lack of showers. Like, dude, yeah. I value a shower like so yeah. much, bro. And then like I think about all those times, and everyone's like, I could totally do that. I'm like, bro, like I don't think you understand, man. And like the, I, I the lack like of people... a the lack of a plumbing, so like no toilets either, like. I feel like people should train themselves for that, like on their own. To That's be, actually, I mean, to be able prepare to prepare for the worst, that. right? I bet you all those doomsday preppers do. <laughs> so I'll put it like this, right? And I'm I'm not a gross guy, okay? Like I'm not going out running, jogging, doing stuff. If if I if I chill at my house, dog, for three days, I probably won't shower for one, and and then sometimes I won't shower for two. So like my body feels like it kind of knows like you're not gonna shower. So if the end of the world does happen, you don't even wash your body or anything. Nope. Okay. I mean, but I so I'll wake up right, lay in the bed, t- watch TV, fall asleep, wake up, lay in the bed. Then oh, that night, uh, okay, you know, like I'm not different. getting up, I'm not okay. walking around, I'm not doing nothing. Oh, okay. But I'm still, different. I like yeah. to get at least my mind because I don't really think I think mind overpowers everything. Like if I you mean, can yeah, sure. trick your mind to be to feel okay in any situation, you'd be fine. So. Yeah, I, I need to I, shower. I it's part of like my nightly routine. Like I gotta take a shower before bed. So you would freak out if like the end of the world happened and there was no well. Water. I also like have a really good ability at like just accepting things for the way they are. So right, I mean, so you like just take it right. If here's the thing, like if I'm not taking a shower when a shower is readily available to me, I would freak out a little bit. But like if I don't have a choice, then like You'd I can just fine. accept that. I'd be like, You'd okay, be like you know this sucks, but there's nothing I can do so about it. So what if so. like. Because you know when those apocalypse happen, right, and everything goes crazy? Right, right. Only certain houses, right, has running water. Yeah, right. So, like, you go, like, years never finding a house that's of what running I'm water, getting, and then you I'm find the at. one. So, you're, like, are yeah. you thinking about, like, I'll just go out and find water somewhere else, or would you just give up completely and say, I mean, you know, like, what do you what do, you do in, in, know, in that point? It's pretty tough, right? How bad do you think that pussy would be? <laughs> At that point in time, <laughs> probably the best, bro. Like, the best? <laughs> oh. You, oh. <laughs> I'm just kidding, bro. But, oh. Bro, that'd be some... Ooh, <laughs> that'd be some tough stuff going on right there, man. <laughs> hey, but I mean, what other choice well, do you have, know. right? I, I think about that too, right? Because like The Walking Dead, like Rick hooks up with like a couple of different girls. And I'm just like, well, bro, like bro, you know they're rowdy as fuck. It's probably the there. best only because it's just like the experience you're in has just gotten you to this point. So that's how Maybe. you know you truly care for that person. Like, It's true, though. <sighs> 
this is the but, best but ever. But like, damn, though. <laughs> right. But damn. Right. But I mean, what what guy would really be telling a chick no during that type of time? Like, I wouldn't. I, I'm getting mine in. I don't <laughs> give a bro. If you're my chick, bro, when we go into this, bro, I'm getting. Would you let? Would care. you let post apocalyptic girlfriend sit on your face? Yeah. Whoa, that's love. Yeah. That's love, bro. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> they can be zombies too. Okay. We already talked about our Right, so right. I probably still do it. Okay. Can you imagine like a, a hot zombie, but like they can cope with society though. But they could what? Zombies, but they can cope with society and work next to us and do stuff next to us. But they look like zombies. Would you talk to them? If they could talk. If they they talk like us, they they pretty much act like they're us. just like rotting they're like bodies. Oof. Weird bodies and they're a little slow, but they can get the gist and and you know. I probably wouldn't like go out of my way to talk to one, but like right. I I wouldn't like ignore them either though. Would you, you know wanna, what I mean? I'd probably be like, hey, what's up? You know, would like, you want to bang one? Probably not. I probably definitely would want to. Okay. Yeah, I I think I would go out of my way. I don't I don't go out of my way for human chicks. I really don't like every chick that I talk to. So usually, you wouldn't go out of your way to talk to a human chick, but nope. you go out of your way to talk to a zombie chick for sure. And human chicks, the most ones I talk to, they actually hit me up. Like, I don't go and be like, hey, my name's Damien. Like, how's your... Nah, <laughs> nope. That's not... I'm not doing that, bro. Okay. I just... Bro, it's, it's it sucks. I think rejection is, is very tough. So, I kind of steer away from those situations. I mean, I respect it. Yeah. But, uh, bro, a zombie one, though? Man, bro. I'd go up and be like, hello, my name is... Yeah. <laughs> Definitely not an expert, but uh, you look wonderful. <laughs> like, <laughs> wow. <laughs> Yikes. Okay. Oh, man. Um, all right, let's go on to our other shout out. Um, uh, this is going to be just a brief one. Uh, shout out to Tua Tungavaloa. Got his first NFL start in his career. Came out and whooped the Buffalo Bills' ass. Like, fucking slapped them, bro. Look crazy. And let's not forget, dude, like, the Miami Dolphins roster is, like, not that stacked right now. Like, they are not, like, they're not that amazing. And the Buffalo Bills, like, are really good. Here's the thing. That that win is actually extremely important because it's a divisional win. And the Bills are, like, leading the, the division right now. Right. So if it comes down to a tie or something, the Miami Dolphins will have the tiebreaker. And they're behind by, like, one game now because of that win. It's tough. That's huge. Yeah. They definitely. Do you <laughs> think that they made the right choice subbing out Fitzpatrick for, for Tua? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But I told you Fitz is good to start, right? But oh, Fitz is at great. At some point in time, come on, man. Within like three or four games, let's yeah. let's flip this around. I feel that. We're okay. around like eight now, but six or something, but it's fine. Yeah. But now now I think, yep, he's going to be nice. Awesome. I'm yeah, looking forward to seeing nice. more from him, that's for sure. All right. Let's go into our topics. So we already talked about zombie pussy. We sure did. And I wanted to, I said that we would get back to this topic from last week because <laughs> you mentioned something that I just, I needed some more clarification on. Yeah. You said that you would be down to slap some ostrich pussy. And I thought that was a very, but very it, but in what context? What was the context? You were talking about, was it grapefruit? And then you're like, no, just hear me out. Like, I heard that grapefruit feels like ostrich pussy yeah and you're like well I mean, it's because I'd be i'm a to, perv I, so i talk to people i know a bunch of people who goose food like and all kind of stuff who do what goose food have sex with food and shit oh well right right i mean but, but I mean, you, you made that comparison to an ostrich specifically right. though i mean only because the outer skin of a i think i said a cantaloupe yeah, it was one of them. Right. Yeah, it was one of them. The, one I of those know. fruits. It, the outer skin reminds me of like a, like if they had an egg, that's what it would look like. Okay. So, you know. I mean, I've never seen a ostrich in my life. I think they're kind of cool. Uh, they're, to me, and terrifying. low-key scary as hell. Like, <laughs> they I run like 45 yeah. miles an hour. <laughs> and they're they're taller and bigger. Than, I don't want to yep. see an ostrich and ever. And they'll peck you, bro. But, I mean, if I was an ostrich, right? Yeah, I'll tear up some ostrich cooch, man. I mean, come on, bro. I mean, <laughs> okay, <laughs> <laughs> okay. I don't goose fruit though, but that's how that all probably came up. Right, I mean, right. I'd have to go. Double okay, check, well, but, yeah. I wanted to go back to that 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 topic. Yeah, because I, y- you can't say something like that and expect us to not bring right. it up again. Well, so. well, of course I'm gonna keep it a, a thousand, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, 
So I wanted to ask you, like, we can. Th- this is an open discussion, right? Okay? And um, I, there's two questions that I have in regards to that. So the first one is, mm-hmm. what animal do you think has the best pussy? Who do you? What animal do you think could throw it back the best? Oh, that's tough. I was thinking maybe like a dolphin, because they already like fuck people anyways. <laughs> I'm thinking maybe like like a cougar, bro. A cougar. Yeah, some okay. cougar pussy. <laughs> <laughs> you yeah, you think a cougar could 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 yeah. throw it back the best? Uh, or like jaguar? Like it's it's gonna so be big, a big cat. It's gonna be a cat. What about a lion? I was gonna say like a lioness. Obviously, a female yeah, yeah. lion would be my number one. But tigers are a little bit more unique in their own way. So like lioness. Or tiger would be my top. Then I go okay. like jaguar or cheetah. So you think you think they got the best pussy? Probably got the best smacky shit ever. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Mm-hmm. But I mean, I also think monkey will probably see. Be I good. was thinking monkey too, monkey just because be good, like bro. they're they're a lot similar to us. Yeah, their setup is just almost exactly. Right. Like I was kind of like, thinking <laughs> the same thing. <laughs> like yeah. monkey would be probably great. Like if you're a gorilla, you just like. You know, sure. I'd be smashing her orangutans if I was a gorilla, but you know, respect. Because I like them, <laughs> boy. You know what I'm saying? But you yeah, know what yeah. it is. But yeah, yeah. If I was a gorilla, I'd, I'd know that they would probably get some good too. Okay, like for sure. Okay. okay, or yeah. What? Okay, now, now a follow up question: What animal would you be the most proud of to be able to have fucked, like as a person? Oh, like, like if, if like if like fucking animals, an animal? yeah, like. Like and the animals still Ooh. act exactly the same. They're in the wild, but like you go out there and like you make some shit happen. Like, what do you think would be like? What animal would you be the most proud to have? Wow, <laughs> mounted. That is, <laughs> bro. You gotta give me your answer because you you're surprising me with this. You gotta at least have one. Well, because... I I hadn't really th- thought about um, it. I, I kind of just wanted to save oh, it for the show. Well, I'm glad it's got to be something this... like nuts, right? Dude, so not so... really. Mine would probably be super basic. I'm trying to think right now my hardest, but... So, like, me as a human, I'm going to just go out into the wild and, like... And fuck something. Smash this yeah. animal, like... But, but it'd be the animal that you'd be the most proud of. Like, you'd be like, bro, right. like... like oh, bro, I smashed dude, this. I, uh. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, I, I, I think about it through, through like, like the uh, the mindset of almost like a competition. Like, if we were all trying to go out and, like, fuck something. Yeah. Like, like what would be the best? Like, what would be, like, the winner? Uh, I think it, uh, my answer was like a ja- um, uh, a jaguar. So a jaguar would be okay, but like I don't know, like, or or something really elusive. I was gonna say a lioness again because I just think them them bitches are pretty. They're it, very pretty animals. Okay, but, so you're looking at it from like like the beauty but, perspective. I was right. thinking about danger. I'm thinking about danger too. Okay. That's why okay. I'm like, well, I mean, lionesses. I mean, they'll they'll tear your shit up, right? Sure. And a jaguar, like what? Like I'm scared to like. I don't know if when I do what I do, like they're gonna get mad or not. Like, I, <laughs> you know, well, well, we don't have to worry about those details. Like so it just happened. It like, just you happened. Did it. Yeah, like, like no you matter what, it out, I can man. have whatever. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh, free reign. Yeah, bro. Probably. I also think something in the water would be pretty impressive too. Like an like a right like an orca um or like I like them thick like a hippo like or like <laughs> dude a bro, hippo would be nuts a hippo bro would be, I like my honey's thick but like, god so, damn <laughs> I mean bro Mozo, there's Mozo, so Mozo, many bro. animals to think about right now like giraffes would probably be cool but they're so tall like how do you get up to position hey man we don't that? gotta ask questions I mean all you right just, you so, figured it out <laughs> giraffe I'm, gonna, would be I'm cool. gonna have to say monkey. Any type of monkey is going to be very high on my list. A gorilla would be extremely be respectable. Very similar to almost goose in a girl, but it's like a monkey, uh-huh. like a girl monkey okay. with some whatever boobs, which is probably a orangutan because they actually have titties. Okay. Like if okay. I'm going to goose, I want to suck some titties or something. Okay. So okay. Probably a orangutan, bro. Okay. Like of course a female one, right? Like I mean, yeah, we get it. Or. Like you mentioned something in the water, probably not a hippo, but maybe like fucking a crocodile or something. That like would be that a pretty good story. Would be like crazy to tell somebody. That would so be like, pretty nuts. If there's no details with it, but I just say like, right, right, I like it's fish, just something that happened. I'd probably do like a crocodile. Like, like long or like story short, man. Like yeah, I can't go into detail, bro. but like I fucked a fucking alligator. I'd probably smash 
And see, I'd probably smash a crocodile over alligator because I think crocodiles look a little better. Like if I had to pick one. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> you know, alligators are, are more calm though, right? Crocodiles well, are but more. But remember, no details. I mean, it's true though. Right. Well, I mean, that actually makes it better though. Right. That's yeah, what I'm saying. It, like, it allows you to that's like. That's a good point. So yeah, I'm yeah, like, yeah. I, I'm going like balls to the okay. wall. No, okay. I guess, yeah. Alligator probably be. Yeah. All right. Or a monkey. Like a orangutan probably sure. be number one off rip. I dig it. Right. Y'all tell us what animal you think has the best <laughs> oh my pussy, gosh, and please. what animal would you be the most proud of to have right to fucked. have done something? Hell with. yeah, that is <laughs> leave it in the comments, you guys. Insane! Oh my gosh, bro. <laughs> okay, um, this is this is something I've been wanting to talk about for a little while now. We just like have never been gotten the chance to get around to it, um, but I wanted to ask you a question and then tell a story and then we'll we'll kind of discuss it. Yeah. Um, have you ever got did you ever like in school or anything get in trouble for like passing notes or like just like fucking off in the middle of class like while the teacher's like doing some shit so i did get in trouble but, but not for passing notes but okay I, I did get in trouble what like for, for what talking. though like oh, being just for disruptive talking. like being the like the class clown guy i did that all the time just being a shithead making everyone laugh bro. okay like and they didn't the they didn't like you very much who the teachers uh the teachers loved me because i played basketball there oh, i was okay. on varsity since like my sophomore sure, year i was sure. really good and okay so i was actually just goofing off and they're like we're gonna tell your coach <laughs> oh and no like, dude that's like the worst right. threat ever and dude. i already had him as a teacher because you already class. know that you're gonna be running <laughs> like, suicides bro like <laughs> yeah. so um so yeah and so they would move me to the front of the room away from everyone oh, that's and then, so then i just became like like just i couldn't do like you couldn't do shit yeah right i'm That's not gonna lame. talk to like the those people that were around <laughs> the other people them, that sit in the front like, yeah you know, I feel you know, that. Yeah, I feel so that. that that's what it always ended up being. But uh, that's what I got in trouble for. I got sent to the office all kind of stuff for being like disruptive and stuff in class. That sounds annoying as fuck. No, not you, but like right. the teachers. Yeah, like. right. I mean, but I can. I, I guess I can get what they mean now that I'm older. You know what I mean? Yeah. They're like trying to teach, and I'm like making jokes and being funny, and everybody's laughing. Yeah, I guess like as a know? teacher, you'd be like, "Can this kid just shut the right. fuck up, please?" Like. <laughs> oh, oh, you, oh, I just found out you playing a basketball. Right. Team, oh, so oh, let ooh. me. Yeesh. Hmm. What? What did you say? Basketball. Huh? What? What's that? Ten minus four or six? Yes, ma'am. Yep. <laughs> yeah, right. bro. Well, the reason why I ask is because um, I did get in trouble once in high school. It was freshman year of high school. Um, I was in an engineering magnet program for high school, and uh, uh, at part of the magnet program, like you have like engineering specific classes you have to take, and uh, we had this like engineering class that like all freshmen had to take uh, with this teacher. I'm not gonna give her name out, but like, she was the fucking worst. She probably don't work there. She like more, formally, she like formally worked for the Pentagon, and then like she so became like why? an engineering teacher or some Bro, shit. I don't fucking know. Drop dude. the name. You have to drop the name. Now. No, if she works well, for the Pentagon. I, actually, her I don't even remember. I don't there. even know her first name. Her last name was Mora. So her name was Miss Mora. Was who she was. I'm cool with that. Yeah. And now I'll look it up. Okay. If she worked for the Pentagon. She has to definitely be. Yeah, she. Yeah, apparently she yeah. used to work for the Pentagon, and then like she started like working for my high school for some fucking reason. I don't know. From the but Pentagon. Okay. I, I guess. What an upgrade. Well, I, I don't know if there was a stopgap like between that or not, but it, it's at not the Pentagon important. Would be scary. Uh, but like, dude, this lady was like a fucking bitch, bro. Like nobody fucking liked her, dude. Like she was so insufferable, and like everyone always made fun of her too because like she had a mustache. And like that shit was like, gnarly. but she rocked it though, right? N- uh, no, you have to appreciate it. She didn't try to shave it, right? I think she did. It just like oh, I think wow. she had like a condition or something uh, where like she just had like excessive facial so was hair it, like, or some shit. Thick? Like if it was enough for you to see, right. like I so, mean, it like... was like I mean, it's not like my fucking mustache, <laughs> right, you know what she, I mean? But you like, could tell she was going without like <laughs> messing with it, right? Well, uh, no, like I said, I think she tried <laughs> to like, like here and there, it, but yeah, but like just ah boy, sucks to suck. Uh, but boy. I also don't feel that bad because like she was also kind of an asshole. So fuck you. <laughs> That's what you get. Yeah. Kinda. Well, like she. She was just like she just had a real like huge like stick up her ass and uh her class was really boring she was a very poor teacher she was like not very good at like keeping students engaged or anything like she just sucked and and like also like her just being the worst made you like not want to give a fuck you know what i mean yeah so me and my buddy brandon um that i used to be really good friends with back in high school uh, we were just fucking off one day and um we were, we were making a comic like we were taking turns drawing uh panels like on, on like a piece of paper yeah for a comic and um the idea for the comic was uh like it's a superhero kind of like superman and like like he saves people and stuff right 
but like after he saves you he expects like a sexual favor in return like like he's just like oh thank you you saved me he's like all right what's up yeah what <laughs> like, are you gonna do for me <laughs> right Bro, that would be right. I, that would be the best superhero ever. <laughs> right? Yeah, we thought it was so funny, dude. I mean, and we're, we're definitely like we we are not artists at all. So like it was just like stick figures and shit. And I mean, dude, it was in high school. So like we used to draw dicks all over everything oh, too, like bro. on our papers and shit. That is so, so like funny, we were just dude. going back and forth, like like kind of like improv, you know, like how you like you go back and forth off each other. We were doing that, but like for the comic, like because we were bored, like fuck bro, that class. Why isn't there a superhero like that? already okay like, so we're gonna no, that's gonna be my follow-up we're gonna talk about that oh my so gosh. but like look, i'm gonna finish the story yeah, so <laughs> like we went all out bro like like the superhero like ha- like he he like stood up with like his hands on his hips with like his dick out and was right. like let's go <laughs> like dude like, it was what so are we funny. doing man and then like <laughs> and then like like because like we're passing it back and forth to like you know draw on it like while yeah. she was like giving her lecture and shit and then she came over and, <laughs> and was like what the fuck is this <laughs> what the hell you pooped on the couch! What is that? Go to your fucking crate, Kaya! Oh. Okay. Before I continue, I have a new addition on my shit list. <laughs> we just had to take about a ten minute break because my dog, Kaya decided to take the fattest shit i've ever seen on my goddamn couch thank you kaya i appreciate it it was tough i'm glad that that's the way that you want to treat my <laughs> furniture after i take care of you all the fucking time oh she's man. in her crate right now because she knows what she did is wrong ma'am that's so tough. shitless literally new entry new entry fresh entry breaking news <laughs> fresh Entry. Fresh in. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So, all right. Well, yeah. Well, so I'll continue. Um, Miss Mora, uh, me and Brandon were passing the comic back to one another. And, like, you know, we were stupid. So, yeah. like, we draw dicks on everything just to fuck around. And uh, she saw that, like, we were passing shit back and forth. And I, like, did not <laughs> want her to see this right. shit. Right. So, like, <laughs> she... She comes over and like she doesn't even ask for it, bro. She tries to like take it from right. us, and like I like crumple it up and try to like rip it up. Yeah. And then she like pulls it out of my hand right. before like I can right. do all that. And she just looks at it and is like, I don't know if mortified is the right word or just <laughs> extremely disappointed. Like I don't know, I don't know what it was, but she was extremely upset about it. And then, uh, dude, this is where it gets awesome. So, like, you know how I told you, like, she's got a stick up her ass, right? Like, she's yeah. just a fucking bitch. Well, like, the director of the Magnet program that I was in kind of felt the same way about it. Like, she's kind of a stick up her ass. Yeah. So, like, she was trying to get us, me me and Brandon, both, like, in trouble um, and or, like, removed from the Magnet expel, program. Like, yeah, so, like, like yeah. so she took it with her, like to the director of the magnet program like for him to look at and then uh they called us in <laughs> he's probably like bro that shit was and funny. there was just something like really hilarious about like his name was mr sturges uh the director of, yeah. of the engineering program i was in just like holding this like ripped up comic right about a superhero that wanted to get his dick sucked <laughs> After he saves your life, though, yeah. that's important. That is dude, so important. Dude, it was important. so funny, dude. <laughs> oh man, it was great. And then like Miss like Miss Mora was just sitting there too, and like she was waiting for like some kind of disciplinary action. And Mister Sturgis is kind of like, "Why are you wasting my time with this? Like, this is fucking retarded. Right. Like, he's a ninth grader. This is not that important." But he had to, like, kind of act like he gave a right. shit because she was, like, right there. Right. So he kind of, like, they gave me, like, a warning. Yeah. And was just like, like, don't be doing this shit anymore. <laughs> but, like, I just thought it was so funny, dude. Like, I thought about it the other day and just, like, I don't know. Like, when you think about it, though, that idea is kind of genius, though. Like, the Bro. idea of a superhero that just wants to fuck and that's, like, his only right. motive to help people. Right. But, I mean, if he saves you... I mean, come on, bro. Hey, man. You gotta it's polish like the ultimate guy favor for a favorite. Dog. Right. That'd be the best. He saved your hero. life. Yep. Right. 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 
Oh, bro, that'd be the best fucking <laughs> superhero right? ever, bro. Hell yeah. So oh, I feel like God. that's probably the best case scenario, but I wanted to ask you, do you think there's a, any other angle we could take from that? So like, instead of asking for sexual favors, like what else could a superhero ask for like in return for his services? Well, that'd be tough because that one by far... I feel like, like that's like the best that one, right? That crushes it. It's like, got to be. Right. Cause that's, the only that's, other thing I can think of is like money or something, right, but that's like that, lame. That's not as difficult. Like right. Some people be like, oh, I have the money here. But if he's like, Haha, what's up with that? Butt, yeah, though? right. Like, people are You'd like, be looking kind of cute, what? though. Right, like, what? <laughs> It makes it tough, bro. That has to That's be That's kind of like an one. anti-hero situation. Like, right. Dude, that'd be it's so almost funny. villain shit. I save you only because, like, <laughs> you're about to pay up or I'm going to kill you. <laughs> I can put you right back out there. Right. I mean, what are we doing? Bro, that'd be the sickest. We can't say hero because that like, can't be hero. Like, like, right? like, they save you and then he's like, all right, so like, What's what good? are we going to do? And then they're just right. like, what? <laughs> so, the, I mean... <laughs> Plot twist, right? If they do make a villain like that, then you just let some people be like, no, I don't want your help. And, like, I'd rather just, like, you know? But, yeah, definitely. There has to be people that will be like, bro, you can have whatever. What do you want? And we need to be able to see all of whatever he gets. <laughs> or she. Yeah, or she. Or she. Oh, do, like, Wonder Woman going oh, around saving dudes. Oh, my gosh, bro. <laughs> She'd be a dom, right? 100%, right? She definitely would crush. She <laughs> She'd definitely be doming, dude. Definitely be dominant, bro. Dom as fuck. Oh, yeah, Oh, bro. dude, that would be fucking sick. A, like, a sexual domination superhero. She could be Holy like a dominatrix. Holy shit, bro. That's like Catwoman. She'd definitely be like a dominatrix, for sure. Oh, for sure. Yeah. For sure, Like for Catwoman, sure. too. Like, what? With the whips and everything, bro. Bro, like, just the outfit alone. That's what I'm know, saying. The like leather she, and the cat ears. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. You can't tell me Batman and Robin ain't, like, tasted that before, man. Come on, dog. Like, <laughs> what? Come on, damn. Come on now. Come on now. Come on now. Come on now. <laughs> <laughs> bro. Yeah, I, I thought that would be an interesting topic, but That'd I think I think sexual favors is like it's tops, bro. Like I don't tops think there's anything for else. A villain. That would be the sickest. Without a doubt. Ha, oh, that be sick, dude. <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh man. Did you see that? Um, I guess so. We're kind of talking about like villains and like heroes and stuff. Did you see that Power Rangers got renewed uh, for a new live action TV series and a movie universe that are connected? Mm, I mean, did you ever fuck with Power Rangers? Hard, like growing up, hard. I did too. Hard. Who's your favorite? Gotta say Tommy, bro. Hands That's the down. Red Ranger, right? Uh, white, white. Ooh, actually, like the White green, Ranger was super cool. He thought but, it was the Asian dude, right? Huh? He was the Asian one, right? The the white the White Ranger. Well, it's because like every oh, like, like different movie, they like change it right? up. And, yeah. yeah, bro. And it's like, bro, come on, man. I thought the Green Ranger was kind. Of, the Black cool. Ranger was cool too. The Green Ranger was to me the sickest, but he was like evil. And at that time, I was like, oh no, yeah. I'm a hero. Yeah, 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 like yeah. I don't I was I wasn't an adult yet. Sure. I understand the I villains kind of are better than yeah. heroes, if you ask me. But whatever, like. Yeah. So who would you crush on more, the yellow or the pink ranger? Dude, Kim easily. Which one was Kim? Kimberly Pink. Oh, yeah. Dude, right, oh, oh, hell yeah. hey, right here. Up top. Hey, now, don't hell get yeah, me wrong. Pink Ranger, bro. The initial Yellow Ranger <laughs> Trini uh-huh. died like in a car accident, so she oh, died young. I do remember that. And then they switched her to somebody sure. else. Trini was fine, too, though. Okay. But Kim, dog. Pink Ranger, bro. Kimberly, come Pink here. Pink Ranger, bro. Kimberly. I. <laughs> come here. I kind of. I don't know what to expect, like, from the new show. Like, it's, I well, want them tough, to keep dude. it cheesy as fuck. Like, it, you have to. Well, like, in the movie, right? If it's going to be connected to a movie universe, it's going to be the one that already came out. Oh, no, no, no. They're rebooting. Movie. So, like, the last movie that came out, it's not going to be relevant. Well, it's like, uh, I hate that. Because I hate they even came out and, like, Rita, right, was considered the Green Ranger. And I just, it was, like, weird twist to yeah, it. Yeah, like, it was weird. The, 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 I, I'll say this. Oh, man. It, that movie wasn't great, but I still enjoyed watching I it just because it. it was like I still Power Rangers. It. It's still Power Rangers, dog. Yeah. I'll, the part that saved me the most was that when they first got their, you know, their they, coins, they they couldn't just like turn to it. They like literally had to. Yeah, like, they had take to learn and train. To, right. Yeah, I like that too. That's I what that was really cool. caught me, and I was like, all right, yeah. I guess I'll like it because y'all didn't let them just grab it and go. It's have. true though. Because yeah. the rest of the movie is stupid, bro. Like, what are y'all doing? Like, there's <laughs> so many twists in it. You know? Do you um, which iteration of the Power Rangers do you hope it is? Like, I like the dinosaur ones, but they they got like the other they I got want, other I ones too. The, right? I want Ooze Generation to come back. 
Oh, that's that's the Mighty Morphin, right? Mighty Morphin. Oh fuck bro. yeah, dude! That, that, that was my that favorite was like, growing up. Mighty Morphin and like the the movie on, too. Bro. The Mighty Morphin yes, Power. Dog. Oh, dude, yeah. Those were the those were like the best, bro. And I've seen all these other Dino Thunder, and I'll, I've watched them all, bro. Because those are the ones that really came like right after that. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. They're they just want no nah, the Mighty good, Morphin. Bro. I feel like that was like it Mighty peaked. Morphin was the coldest power right. we've ever seen. I, I agree. Think. Oh my gosh, bro. Yeah. yeah, I think they should do it from that generation. Just remake they got it, to, right? Right, like otherwise, what's the fucking it, bro? Point? Like, because they've done like a fuckload of other iterations, but like they're all they're all kind of gimmicky, right? Like, and I don't, eh, it's like, I don't, come I'm on, bro. Y'all know if y'all bring back Mighty Morphin, people are gonna lose their <laughs> shit, bro. Like, Fuck what? yeah, dude. Come Fuck on, yeah. man. Okay, well, are, are you stoked for it? I think I'm stoked more for the show than for like the movie. Universe. I'm, I'm I think stoked the show more is for the movie sick. than the show. I hope I'm I don't. So movie guy. The, there hasn't been news on like where it's going to come out yet, but it would be really cool if it came out like on Disney Plus or something, or yeah. like or like Netflix or some shit, and we could just binge it. It'd be like sick. they did like full seasons. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they're gonna do that. It's, I mean, it's got be, to, that would right? be the smartest move right now. I think with so. How everything is moving. Well, I don't think it's coming out for like a while. Like right. they just announced this it's a little while in ago. Yeah, right. I mean, it makes it gives you something to think about. I mean, uh, I don't know I though. Mean, we might be in, we might be in quarantine to like 2023. So right. who fucking knows? Or like, 2030. I mean, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, I got a question for you. Uh, this is something that I saw, and I, I got a couple of answers here, and I bet you do too. Um. Okay, so like you you appreciate the honeys, the ladies, of course. Um, so I I'm curious. So like you see a fine honey, right? Like right. she looking cute as fuck, or like you're even out on a date or something with a fine honey, right? Right. And like y'all are chilling, y'all are vibing, like everything's dope. Like what's something that she can do that could be like an immediate turn off? Like she goes from being like the most beautiful girl ever to you being like. I don't know if repulse is the right word, but like completely uninterested. What's what what's something that a girl can do that can make that happen? That's really tough. For me, a really big one is like how they interact with like other people. So like wait staff and stuff, like if they're like rude to like like a waiter or something, that's like a really big like no go. That's for tough me. to me too. Um, um hygiene's kind of a big deal too. I actually went on uh, so like I'm gonna talk about this in the future. <laughs> I actually went on a date with this girl once and like like things were like going like kinda cool. And then, like, she mentioned that she had, like, a hole in one of her teeth, on, in one of her teeth, that, like, she had to, like, get taken care of. And, mm-hmm. like, the second she said that shit, bro, I was, like, out. I, was I got like, a hole in one of mine. Do you? Swear to God. You should get that fixed, bro. I could show you right now, but you I don't probably, need to see it. Yeah, you'd lose your shit. Yeah. <laughs> and, and leave, right? Like, like you do. Well, no, I'm not trying to make out with you either, so. Well, you know. I mean, the, I mean, that is fact. Right. <laughs> right. So I should show you. I don't like. know, dude. It was just weird. Like, I was, like, kind of into her. Like, she was pretty cool, but then, like, she said that shit, and I was like, there's, like, no fucking way. Like. But I mean, but that's the weirdest thing to not. I mean, she still was very approachable, looked very attractive. Yeah, uh, or She vibing. was, like, also, like, not that super. Oh, well, then there you go. So then that's. You know, maybe maybe, maybe I mean, if she was like super fine, like I would have been like, mm, like okay, but see that uh, to me that's kind of almost one of those things where it's like I don't know, but the hygiene is know. like really important to me right, though. Like right. it it probably has to be hygiene for me, or if a girl shows up with open toes on and her toes are like destroyed and not. Oh yeah, well, shit, your toes are like a really big thing for you. Though. I'm, I'm like uh, like if their feet done. are just like busted we're as done. fuck. We're done. Well, here's the thing, man. Like nah. if your feet are busted as fuck, you shouldn't be wearing don't wear open toes. Shit. Like don't do that to yourself. But guess, bro. People don't pay attention to this. I do, and I'm pretty sure there are people on here that do as well. I do, but I mean, I take care of my feet too. So like, I get pedicures and stuff. Like. You'd be so surprised how many people's feet you see just tore up and they're rocking just open toes. Like that is the most disrespectful thing I think you can do, <laughs> and it, it's very painful. That will immediately to me off rip. I'll still sit there and have a nice time, but I was like, nah, nah. Like I shouldn't be having it tell you, like, bro, come with some fire toes and nails now, okay? Come on, man. That you know. Okay, here's here's another thing. What's something like flip side, right? So like what what could make like a less attractive girl like super attractive to you? Their personality. Oh, give me some specifics. Like what's something uh, that you could really appreciate? Kind of like the way she talks and how she says it, but it's my biggest thing is how people interpret or understand me cuz the way I talk is just weird, bro. I don't like I'll say I think something. A lot of our listeners kind of kind of agree with you that. On that. <laughs> like I'll say something how I don't mean it, but the way that it sounds, how well, I well, say well, that's actually it, something you that know. you and I do really well together. Right. Like you'll talk to some other people and be like, "What the fuck?" And I'm like, "No, right. no, 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 no. Like, like he nah, means bro, this, like, bro. Like, like don't right. be weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that always happens, and so chicks have actually told me like I'm mean, but I'm like I'm a, 
I'm like, I'm not trying to be mean. I may have said something that sounded mean, but I meant it so nicely. Right, right. But it just gets, you know, taken that way. So you think, so. like, a girl's ability to, like, understand you it's is, hard. Like a big but thing. if I get that and we're vibing and every, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah bro. Done deal. For I me, I think it's, for, for, for me, a really big thing is, like, compassion. Like, uh, consideration, like, for the people around them. Yeah. Like, not, um, like, being very selfless, being very humble. Right. Um, not not being so self-focused i feel like nowadays everybody is so like focused on like themselves and like what they can do to better themselves which like yeah. don't get me wrong is like good but i think a lot of people that's their only focus and to me like if a girl sh- can show that like they care about other people and like or you know and like when you're talking only like, they care about right. you and stuff and like right. they care about your growth the same way they care about their growth like that shit slaps like super hard to ugly chick if she had that you yep I mean, well, within reason, attractive. of course, but right. uh, yeah, for, like, right. that's for the really most part, important. Right. Yeah, yeah, I think so. <laughs> I dig it. You gotta be like, at least like, you know, homegirls got at least got a little something going. You know right. I mean? <laughs> 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 all right. Um, you can only have two. All right. Mm-hmm. And in your, in your dream home, you can only have two. I want you to pick two of them. And then I'll tell you my two. Um, you got to pick from these six. You can have a bar, a gym. An indoor, like, spa slash jacuzzi, a library, a movie theater, or, like, a gaming room. Mm-hmm. And when I say, like, a gaming room, I mean, like, like Dave like, and Buster's. Like, like, like gaming. Right, right, yeah, right, right, yeah. right, 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 right. So, like, which two would you pick? Movie theater, gaming room. Movie theater and gaming room? Yeah, off the rip. Like, no question. No nope, See, no I thought for sure you'd pick all. movie theater because, like, you're a big movies guy. Yep. Like, that's, like, your shit. Yep. Game room off rip though also is off the rip. Like the rest of those, when I think about them, I could always go elsewhere to an indoor jacuzzi. Library, I don't read like that. Right. So I'm not taking that. Now a bar, I don't need a bar. I'm still gonna have (laughs) bottles though. So yeah, you know. For me, um, it's I'm actually glad that you picked differently because I I thought like we would have similar answers, but we don't. Um, I would pick a bar and a gym is what i right. would want yeah yeah no nope. because like um, but like the thing is though is like i would want like a full set bar like right. i'm talking like bottles like, i'm talking, when bar, you go, I'm, right, talking right, right. I'm talking seats i'm talking like a pool table i'm talking tvs right. like right and that would be like i'd bring the, the homies over i'd be like yo like let's drink but like let's just crash at my place right. you know what i mean like let's not well and also because then at that point like it's not super expensive either you know right what I mean? like, it's you don't have to all buy, right like, there right like throw some bread at some fucking at some right. drinks bro so I would really enjoy that. And then, I mean, I think, you know, knowing me, like, the home gym kind of speaks for itself. Yeah, like, I was going to say the gym part. I was like, I'm pretty sure Hessen picked gym. Yeah, I, don't I want definitely that. picked the gym. <laughs> I was like, like, I don't want well, that. Well, dude, I don't, I don't know about you. Well, actually, I was really considering the spa over the over the bar just because, like, to be able to go, like, from the gym to the spa to would relax, be, like, really yeah. fucking sick. Um, but, you know. I think the bar the bar would be cool because that's like an opportunity for the buddies to come over right. and like have a good time and just chill. And you know, I mean, we also have a sports show. Sports is like kind right. of a big part of my life. So right. being able to have like that type of environment like in your home, I think would be really that cool. That would be crazy. Um, here's a follow up question. What are some things that you would want like in your dream home? What are some things that like you really care about that you would really enjoy? Like like money is not an object. It's like what would you have in your dream home? Well, I would. Mm, that's tough. That's hard to say. I'd definitely probably have a. You don't have to be limited. Just right, like whatever you want. At least yeah. a half court basketball or like That'd a full be cool. court. That'd be cool. Um, because like outside, regulation. Yeah, outside of that, like I'm not a big jacuzzi or swimmer or nothing. So I don't want an uh, indoor pool. Would be cool. This said jacuzzi. If it would have said pool. Yeah, yeah. No, I don't care about that. Just right. like for you. Yeah. But like an like like? indoor pool would be sick, I think, as well. Like an infinity pool like, or just like like a pool pool? Like an actual, but like Olympic size. Okay. Like Whoa, okay. Cool. Indoor pool would okay. be freaking raw to have. Water slide? With like slides and cool. stuff with okay. it. Yeah, like okay. that That would be sick. Uh, other than that, though, I, I mean. Nothing else is like that important to you? My, my kitchen would have to be nasty. Like. Oh, so like you know, like a, like a pristine like, like a, professional a stove grade built kitchen. into the countertop kind of like that would be really cool. Yeah, so my kitchen would probably be the grossest area in my dream home because I like to eat a lot. So I think I'm right there with you. I think my kitchen yeah. would have to be really awesome for me. Like I want like a bunch of stuff that's like health related. Like I'd love to have like my own cryo sauna. Um, yeah. for, like for cryotherapy right i'd like to have a cold tub and a hot tub so that you can alternate for recovery uh, uh procedure uh, i'd want a sensory deprivation tank a home gym sauna 
steam room i would want um i i i actually like legitimately like not even like dream scenario like i'm i plan on having a bar in my own home right like like a chill area well what i want is like like a like an enclosed uh like patio type situation where like there's like furniture out there and it's like closed up like you can open it up like like if it's cool outside and stuff and um like with a pool table and like tvs and all that shit yeah like i like like that's something that will happen like i'm definitely gonna have that in my life for sure right uh all that other stuff like if i'm making bank like i'm gonna get all that shit dude like for real though man like and and i didn't even really know i wanted all that stuff until like i saw like brian shaw and eddie hall like they they kind of have like their whole like rig yeah and i just thought about it like that'd be so cool to be able to just like i'm gonna go cryo for like five minutes you know what i mean and then right. be good and you know like just being able to i think being able to work out on your own just like in your own place would be really cool and you could just invite your buddies over and right like get a sick pump and just chill out um i think that would be really cool um i'm not really big on like an indoor movie theater like i don't really need like i think i would just want like a really badass living room yeah and uh i i really like like when the living room is connected to the kitchen and it's all just open right so you could just like walk like Right, into like the that, kitchen. Right, yeah. Directly into oh, it. another thing. I really want um, armwire doors for my fridge that like match my cabinets. So like it oh, all just looks be, like cabinets. Yeah. yeah, I like that a lot. I think that's like sick as fuck. And I also want two refrigerators. I want like like a main one like in the kitchen, and then I want one like exclusively like for storing food and drinks like in the right. i don't know like in the gym or like in the garage right. or whatever you know what i mean um other than that there's i mean everything is kind of cake after that right yeah i mean yeah i mean that's kind of excessive to be honest right but <laughs> i mean how sick would that be though you know what i mean to be able I to just like I, I like the idea of like not having to go somewhere else to get all your shit done but at the same time i would also probably have a gym membership too though like if i wanted to go that's to the what gym, i'm saying yeah. i'm like bro if it's like a dream I definitely would want a movie theater, bro. That's like raw. Now, are we saying like how big? Because I mean, if I had one in my house, right, it'd be like fifteen to twenty seater movie. I theater. think even that's like a lot. I would say like maybe like a few couches or something. Nah, like, bro. Like I'd have room. like fifteen to twenty seats. Bro. Okay, and a projector for sure, right? Right, because right, you know yeah. we can watch other stuff on this in the same room, sure. as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then yeah, game room. I think that's without a doubt almost. Would you do the whole thing? Like, would you have like a popcorn machine in there and like for the like, movie theater? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Nachos, cool. yeah, all that, bro. Oh, like sick. it'd be yeah, legit, bro. Cool. You know, the candy, every, like whatever. Oh, you want. that'd be sweet. Yeah, I like that. Would be raw. Yeah, that would be that'd be really cool. Yeah. Okay. Um, so I'm curious about this. Cause like, I am very particular about like the way I used to do this when I worked a conventional job. Um, when you're, when, whenever your weekend comes, right. I'm curious, first of all, cause I don't know how you operate. Do you do all your chores like on one day, like a week, like you have a day, like, right. like a lot of people, like for a lot of people, it's like Sunday, like Sunday, you know, you do right. your chores and right. you know, reset for the week, yada, yada. Right. What do you do? Like, do you, like, when do you do all of your chores? I do all of my chores, like, in the middle of, like, my last work day. Or, like, my last day that I work, uh-huh. I, I do everything that day. Cool. I do, too. So that like, when, like, I'm when off, you get home, like, I'm just chilling. Yeah, you're not doing shit. I don't shit. have to do nothing. Right. I do, I do the like, same thing. Oh, like, even yeah. if I got to stay up, like, late as fuck, I I'm like, it's it. cool. I'm going to sleep in tomorrow. I'm going to get to rest. Right. And not have to worry about right. it. Yeah, I'm, cool. I'll mop it right away. Cool. I'm the same way. Like, I'm really big on, like, doing it, like, the last day that I work. Because that's still considered to me, like, a work day. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, like, I might as well just, like, crank right. it out. You know what I mean? Exactly. Like, I'm working. So, like, let me just... Let right. me just finish this shit I mean, up. Sometimes then, I don't do it at all, and then it just carries over into the next week. That's rough, which though. Which is usually, but that's, hey, that's me. <laughs> I'll be like, nah, you know what? It's just like two dishes. And well, I mean, then, you know, I mean, well, I think if it was a lot, like, you'd do it. I would you do know it. what I mean? Yeah, yeah, but then that turns to eight, and I'm like, nah, bro, I'm not doing this right now. Like, <laughs> and wait a couple days, then finally do it, you know, like. Yeah, I get it. Yep. Yeah, I was just curious. I saw that. They were talking about, like, a three-day weekend. Like, do you do it, like, the night of the three-day, like, when it starts? Or, like, do you do you just wait and then right, do it at the and end? And I was like, like nah, bro. I was like, like, that'd be so difficult that would be dumb to do it fuck. at the end. Well, like, for me, what? I have this thing where, like, I can't really relax, like, if I still got shit to do. Right. Because I feel like, I'm like, fuck, like, I still got to do this. You know what I mean? Like, I'm yeah. still, I can't just, like, shut my brain off. You know what yeah. I mean? So I, I have relax. to get my shit done. I, like, sit on the couch knowing I have, like, ten fucking dishes, <laughs> like, and all kind of stuff. I'll just sit there like, nah, I'll get it. Whatever. Okay. But, yeah. 
I'd rather get it out of the way. So you're kind of both ways, but you would prefer um, to do it like the last I night. I usually you were, yeah. get it out of the way first, but I have had moments where I'm like, mm, yeah, I think that's a big I'm move because because like I think you're kind of playing yourself a little bit. Like if, if you, you do it wait, like, the bro. last day, you're like you're almost like starting your week early. Like fuck right. that, <laughs> like that's lame. Right? It's either you extend your work week or you start your work week early. right and i'd rather it extend depends on without who a wants doubt to extend yeah. or who wants to start yeah but i'm early. sure there's a lot of people that, that would rather would start rather early do it, yeah the other way right yeah right okay um did you see that the Chappelle show is on netflix now yeah but i'm sorry man you don't like the Chappelle show i'm not into the to the Chappelle show anymore but we've also we've already talked about this throughout this show that i already i think he's a clone now so. oh that's right um, I mean that 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 would be like OG Chappelle though. Like right. you so could still enjoy that. Before Chappelle was like, he's always been teeter totter with me. Some of his stuff is funny, but I also like it's not funny to me. He's he's he fits in the same category as like a Will Ferrell and a Kevin Hart for me. Like some of your stuff is funny, like I get it, but like you 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 not like crack me up funny, but like who's somebody that is like crack me up funny to you? Uh, like. Mike Epps, Cat Williams, like the like I'm more I'm more so into their okay. comedy. Okay. Like they of course they all do different type of sure. comedy. Yeah, yeah. To me, World Fair is just like a stupid dumb comedy, like a <laughs> Napoleon Dynamite kind of comedy. Okay. Which to me like I I get stupidity and stuff, like that's funny, but like I'd rather not see stupidity funny. Like I but there's different type of funnies, you know, it depends on which one you like, which yeah. is why all these guys are you know, I prefer more of like a clever funny Right, like it's kind of what I like, but stupid funny is good too. Yeah, I mean, stupid funny is it's always funny because it's like you're so stupid, bro. Like, yeah. Well, you know? my favorite my favorite comedians are like 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 I've said this before. It's like the group of guys. You know what I mean? It's like Bill Burr, um, Burt Kreischer, Joe Rogan, yeah. and uh, Tom Segura. Tom Segura and and Bill Burr are like the big boys though. Like, yeah, those guys are funny as fuck. Um, <laughs> I also like Jim Jeffries. He's pretty solid. Um. And there's like a lot of classics too, but I think I think those guys are still slapping it right now for sure. Um, you know, speaking of that, have you heard that like Comedy Central's kind of gone down the shitter a little bit? I've heard I mean, from like several people lately that like Comedy Central fucking sucks now. I mean, I used to bang Comedy Central very me too. hard. When I used I was to younger, bang it like religiously, but I stopped because it started getting weak to me. But this was like. Like a decade ago? Yeah. I'm right, say, same. It's been a long yeah, time, I guess. But so. I think it's because, like, Netflix, like, they're, and, and there's so Hulu much stuff. And Amazon, well, yeah. well, they're getting, like, all the specials. Right. So there's so not, like, a lot of exclusive People can watch it content. on there. There's right. nothing that comedy is going to show you that you can't just watch on these other right. platforms. Comedy Central was definitely it was. the it used to slap most real hilarious hard. channel ever. Yep. But now, I mean, for, even from then to now, I'm like, I don't even know how they're still running. Like, I don't know how a lot of TV stations are still running. It's crazy. But, I mean, there are a lot of people that just, like, watch TV, which, right. like, I don't get. But, you know, I this watch is something... it, but I don't really watch it. I just have it on. Well, right. Like, I don't look but at you, it, that's though. still like, viewership, though. Faithfully. Like, I don't need it, though. Like, I well, just... Right. Like, I don't say, like, I watch this show, this show, this show. I record this show. What about... Did you see what happened with, like, bro, I'm not... I have, like, two shows, and if their season's <laughs> over, that's it, bro. Like, I don't be on TV. I'm, like... Do you have any on... shows right now that you're watching that, that like, you would recommend? Uh, so not even just like a like anything. I, I'm about to start a show. What I you, think it's it? called. I'm gonna say it's called Queen's Gambit, and I hope that that's the oh, name. Oh yeah, on Netflix, right? Um, but it is on Netflix. And Mario, one of my my best friends, the cool homies. guys, yeah, the homie. What's he, up, Mario? Uh, <laughs> he referred me to watch the show. He said like it's it's trippy from Jump, and so okay. my shows that I watch. They're, they just saying, like, I watch, like, How to Get Away with Murder and, like, That's a good like show. plot twist type yeah. stuff. I don't just watch, like, normalities. Uh, so, um, kind of in the vein of TV shows, right? Yeah. Um, I, I started watching this show, and I think it's amazing. And I thought about it, and I think you actually told me about this back when we worked together. Mm-hmm. Um, the Unicorn. Have you seen that show? Mm. I could have sworn you're the one that told me about it. It's about this, like, this, like middle-aged dude whose wife just died. And, like, it's been a year since she died, and now, like, um, his friends are trying to get him to go back into the dating scene, and he's got, like, two daughters, and it's about him, like, online dating with, like, these girls and stuff, and he's referred to as a unicorn because he's, like, a decent-looking dude, he's in his 40s, there's, like, nothing weird about him, but, like, he's single, and apparently, like, they call him a unicorn because, like, that never fucking happens, like, those guys always get taken up, so there's, like, a fuckload of chicks that are, like, trying to, like, hook up with this dude. 
and it's like one of the funniest shows I've ever seen ever. <laughs> Do you know what I'm talking about? I don't, but I I will look into I it now. I could have sworn though. you told me about it, but I don't know, bro. Well, the first season's on Netflix. I'm gonna check it out. I would strongly recommend it. It's really good. Yeah. Like that's the other show, other than Brooklyn Nine Nine. Like I've been watching Brooklyn Nine Nine like super hard. But I started The Unicorn too, just because yeah. like, I was looking for something else to watch. And but like, dude, I got like four other shows I want to watch right now. But like, I need to finish The Legend you gotta of Korra. Finish, I need dude. to finish uh, The Unicorn. Like, yeah. I don't want to. I don't like having a bunch of shows open yeah. that like I haven't finished right. yet. So if, I got to finish some other stuff. In Brooklyn Nine Nine, I still have like six seasons, so like that's gonna be there for a bit. So like, yeah. you know, the Unicorn is like one season. I got like four episodes left of the Legend of Korra. Like, I just need to knock you those still out. Gotta, and then, yeah. yeah. My biggest shows right now uh, was so I have two really: the okay. Ozarks and Money Heist were like my shits. And Money Heist is over with. I don't think they're gonna be dropping another season. If they do, that'd be insane. But Ozarks is about to get. Like a whole nother season. Right. So I'm just waiting now. With Jason Bateman, right? Yeah. I still haven't seen that show, Dude, but I've heard from so it, many it's, people. It's hard, though, for people. Some people will like it. Some people won't. It depends on how you view your like view your characters. Because everybody's seen him in Horrible Bosses and this and that. Like, Oh, no. I just like Jason Bateman. Right. Like, so he yeah. plays a completely different role in this show. Cool. He's like just a smart gig guy who knows how to flip money. Okay. But he is messing with like cartel level type people Ooh. while messing with this money it's super sick bro he's like funny but like asshole funny sure like it's and it's like already three seasons out right now right raw dude it is raw and money mm. heist i won't lie that's probably the sickest show i've ever seen bro what's it about so it's about a group of people i believe it's somewhere between like five to eight or nine of them okay there's a main guy though okay the head guy he has the plan he gets the people for it, and he sends them to a bank. So it's they, like an Ocean's Eleven type situation? But, yes, but like they lock themselves in the bank for a long duration of time based on like this guy's plan and get the money. Bro, it's huh. fucking and it's a show? sick, bro. It's a show, Money Heist. So are they locked in the bank the whole time? They lock themselves in the bank on purpose right. and escape from it. For the whole show, though? For the whole Oh, that season, sounds really dude. awesome. And so How many episodes see, is it? Uh, you I said think, it's like it's probably one season right now. Yeah, right? you're over like ten episodes. Though. Okay, cool. So like you, you get to see, but you get to see, bro. You see so much though. It is freaking the craziest okay. show. It's like a chess master just putting people in check sure. bro, the whole time. Like, oh, that sounds sick. Like the cops, of course, come try to do something, right, but like right, he right. steps ahead and well, it's also oh, like you said, sick, like you like bro. those like twisty, turny type bro, stories. So that it's sounds like a lot like he's it always like a that. step ahead. Yeah. Like, have, you bro, seen, have you seen Prison Break? It's dumb. I have. That, that's it's a really good like, example, right? Right. It's very similar to that, but... You know that show's just, coming back, right? Huh? That show's coming back. I heard. With the same actor, too. Oh, uh, uh, you have to do it I that mean, way. I mean, right? I mean, don't mess it up now. Did you see that Dexter's <laughs> coming back, too? Oh, I was With the same Dexter actor for a while. I, it's, I it's, think I read it was a reboot, but I'm not sure. It's, It'd it's, be cool if it wasn't a reboot, like, uh, and he just came be. back. Like, That's a really odd show, man. Only certain people can get with that show, too. I don't think anybody can well, just Well, I mean, it is about murdering kind of people. Show. Right. <laughs> but it's also about him owning, like, a you know, he's like a mortician-ish kind of guy. So it's, it's just, man, I'm telling you. <laughs> okay. Um, I wanted to ask you something else. This is something, like, what we were talking before the show and this question like popped up in my head and yeah. like i had to ask you because you're right a foodie. right 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 because you're a foodie yeah, yeah, yeah. and <laughs> and uh for me this is actually something that's really important to me so like i wanted to know how you felt about it first yeah do you like to eat before or after you fuck which do you prefer so honest answer i mean yeah <laughs> both both I I for like I thought you were gonna say both. So you like but to eat before and after. If I have to pick, I would rather do it before. Because really? why is that? Because I usually don't eat throughout the day because I'm drinking. Sure. And so typically I feel like I go beast mode more after if on an some, empty stomach some, yeah. drinking. Like I'm gonna go ham intensely very good right, right now. Right. Like, but there are some times where I eat before because, to me, bro, promise you, I last longer. I mean, your body's I, got energy. <laughs> yeah. I mean, but I mean, I still go dumb, crazy, well, sure. tipsy, but it's it's like a different type of sex when I eat first. So I, I agree. I just determine 
which one I want depending on the person that I'm with. Sure. For me, I like to eat after. Like, yeah, I, always. I'd, I'd rather smack after. I dog. think food like, tastes so much better after you just had like a fat nut. Well, it's because first of all, I'm a nut, so I'm relaxed. I'm a shower. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, like and I'm gonna be like in fuck. my vibe, yeah, yeah. and then I'm a no. Smack you're absolutely good right. Yeah. Because okay, that's another question. You got you got a shower after like every time, right? Yeah. Me too. Yeah. I need every a shower. time. Uh, now, depending on the chick, though, if they were hot as fuck, I do lay in their tent for the night. I respect that. I lay in there like I'm talking about top. Oh, yeah, lip, yeah, I get like, it. Everything. I get it. I bask in the ambience I respect for it. at least maybe twelve hours, and then I, and then I'll <laughs> okay. go shower. But I, I definitely it. will take advantage. Yeah, but that's no, not no. Every well, chick, that's, but I think that's almost kind of like like a re- relationship level. You know what I mean? Like you fuck, you well, shower, and then like y'all go get some food. Like right, fuck, right, right, yeah, right. Bro. That's like relationship. And goals. dude, I um like I like that either like really really late at night, like two a.m. Yeah. And then, like, you go get, like, some Whataburger or some shit. Yeah. Or, like, morning sex. I'm with it around And you get, like, some brunch or something or after? Because in the morning, oh. in the morning, I'm just waking up. Like, when I when I wake up, we're, we're, I'm going to do it right then and there. Well, like, right. you're waking up with me. No, that's what it. I'm saying. So, I'm not a big breakfast guy, though. So oh, yeah. You don't I'd like rather breakfast. smack, that's like, right. midnight, 1 o'clock in the sure. morning. Because I'm only going to maybe snack on something, like, you know, a, a natural grain yeah, yeah, yeah. valley bar or something like at three. And that's all I have for the day. Like, or like a bottle of water. I get it. You know, like yeah, water. I get it. Like, I don't, I don't eat it all. So I would, I do, I do uh, smack up some sh- in the morning though. But yeah, I don't like, know. Food tastes better. Late night vibe. Like, you're bro, fresh is, as fuck. Is, and like, sick, like, you just, you feel good. Yep. And like, you're with like, yep. you know, cute as fuck homegirl. Like, yep. what's up? And, exactly. You know, go get some food together. Exactly. Hell yeah. Okay. Last question. And then we'll go into the would you rathers. Um, you accidentally put in an hour more of community service than you than you were required to. So you did one extra hour, right? So now to accommodate for that, you have to do an hour of community disservice. What do you do for that hour? Like where I could fuck off? Yeah, it's because an hour it's where like you have to com- you have to commit community disservice. Uh whoa. Um I was thinking, like, you could, like, unsync all of the streetlights. I was going to say, I, it, it would be something, I would do something for an hour that I did during that whole time of community service, because I'd be pissed. So you would undo something I would you undo did. something I did that entire time, like, picking up the trash. Right, right, or, so if you're like, picking up trash, you'd throw trash I'd everywhere. I'd going, throwing <laughs> trash all over, back oh, over dude, that shit. Oh, dude, that would be yeah, funny. Yeah, bro, like, I would do something that I hated doing that entire time, sure. and I did an extra hour, like and that. they knew that, yeah. and didn't tell me. Sure. Okay, well, I'm about to go and, like, mess all that back up. I dig it. Yeah, bro. Uh, yeah, for sure. Oh, immediately. Immediately. That's a really good answer, actually. Yeah. yeah. I, think, I think something, like, that would cause a lot of mayhem would be my answer so that's why i said like street lights yeah. would right. be like a really good one um, <laughs> that'd be funny or like or like or like closing down streets like with um like like with uh the construction signs or something like oh, you could just like yeah. close down areas or something yeah like for no reason <laughs> um or even like labels like you could switch the labels on something. I don't know. Right, like, right, it, right. Some, it'd something, be something, right? right? It'd be something weird. <laughs> I, I I read this online. Like somebody somebody's answer was, um, they would they would shut off all the automatic open doors. Like like to to oh, grocery bro, stores. You know how and many stuff? people would walk into that shit? <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh, that would be so funny. Yeah, dude. and they said it's actually really easy. It's just like a little switch that you just have to turn off, and then the doors don't open anymore. <laughs> <laughs> for a whole hour oh my yeah bro. like for a whole hour like you're just going around like everywhere you can go bro and you're just shutting them all off that'd be freaking funny <laughs> yeah <clears throat> oh dude or i mean you could be like really shitty and you could just go around like like popping people's tires on their cars or some shit right or, Something like some really super... gnarly shit yeah <laughs> see but i wouldn't want to do that because i'd hate somebody to have their disservice That's and true. then they like mess up my I mean, stuff respect. like yeah Bro, I don't even know you. Like, <laughs> you you do your disservice, but what does it have to do with it's me? It's true, though. Like, you know? Yeah, it's true. So though. I want to pick something where I don't really want to be on somebody's shit list. I respect it. You know what it. I mean? Yeah. Like, <laughs> I respect it. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and go into the would you rathers, and then uh, we'll do our chick list and wrap up with our banger. All right. So our would you rathers this week. Uh, we're going to start with. Would you rather for the rest of your life tell the truth or tell a lie? And this is at all times. I don't think there's any exceptions to this. Uh, me personally, I would probably pick the truth. 
which I already do now, but I'm very blunt. That's why maybe I'm mean because I don't lie to people, you know. I already, for the most part, tell the, tell truth. the truth always, like, too. I've also been told by some people that, like, maybe I, I, I share too much. Right, but I mean, but I'm like, which way would you it, want wouldn't it? Wouldn't you rather have it that way, though? Exactly. Like, w- wouldn't, <laughs> I mean, for me, it's like, I, I, wouldn't it be a lot better that you never have to question what's on my mind, opposed to, like, wondering right. if I'm telling you I, everything? I would just hate the fact that I would just be manipulating the shit out of everyone. Dead ass, If though. I lied my and entire life. And you literally like, can't control I would, it. And, right. Like, but Dude, it probably ruined like every relationship you have with like, everyone, with family and like, girls. At some and, point in time, like, yeah, it's gonna. <laughs> and then, like, you wouldn't even be able to explain yourself either because you would just keep lying. You'd like, just lie about oh, that, man, like, yeah. so it always continues. It's true, though. It's, uh, yeah, that, that would, would be, be terrible. horrible, bro. It would be. I think telling the truth all the time too, like, definitely has its downfalls too, though, but, just because you probably do feel a certain kind that's of way true, sometimes. But, but I feel like here's people the thing, would though, you can also hear. just keep your mouth shut. Right. Too, though. And not you know say what I mean? anything. I'd still rather come out with the, with the honest truth. I think so, too. 100% I think, no matter yeah, what. I like. think so, too. <laughs> I agree. All right. Would you rather go about your normal day naked or fall asleep for a year? How long would you be naked? Go about your normal, one normal day. Oh, just for one you. normal Everything day. Everything you do uh-huh. for one day, you do it naked that entire day. Okay. Or... Fall asleep for a year. Well, I mean, I stay at home most of the time. Right. But you also walk your dog and you go oh, that's outside. True, and you're going to be doing point. everything naked, bro, for your your for your normal day. <laughs> it's tough, right? I think I'd rather just sleep for a year. Probably sleep for a I year, I don't right? need all my neighbors seeing my dick, bro. So, I'd be honest. I don't think you'd care. I would do a normal day naked. Yeah. And, I mean, I'd get a rest hit or whatever. and <laughs> like, like, bro, going to sleep for a year... There's so much stuff that could change while you're asleep. Good point. That'd I feel be... like that's also kind of exciting, though. You're like, let's see what fucking happens, it man. It could be scary, <laughs> though. Like, could be. But I do like that answer, though. Yeah. All right. Would you rather live one life that lasts 1,000 years or live 10 lives that last 100 years each? The 10 lives, I assume, would be different, right? Like a reincarnation situation? Right. But you still come back and live 100 years well, yeah, every time. Every Would time. you retain your memory? Doesn't say. Well, what do you what What do you think for the sake of? I would say for the sake of this, no. Okay. One life for a thousand years. One life for a thousand. I right? would, yeah, and the the memory is the big one though. The like, memory is If I could retain my memory, like right. from one lifetime to another, right. Then I actually but think you, that would be a lot can't. more interesting right. because but you, you would live like different lifetimes. You know but what I mean? But know Which about cool. them, but you don't know. Right. You just live. Right. So. Yeah. And then at that point, yeah. at that point, you're basically just living one one hundred year lifetime because right. you don't even remember the other ones anyways. So. But I'd be okay with living ten a hundred. Yeah. Because I've that feel like if, so with a thousand. That has to be tough. Like you lose everybody, losing every single person you know. Like that is always a, a conversation time, about like, immortality. You're very smart and knowledgeable, but that's a lot of hurtful stuff you go through. Being, I just think being able to experience times, life like that would be cool. Like to see like how things change and stuff like over time. But right. you're not wrong though. Like it'd be very lonely. Right, and I'd rather not know and just give myself multiple chances of maybe I live a life where I'm a millionaire or a billionaire. Like because I live so true. many different times for yeah, hundred years, true. I could maybe have a some cool ass lives. I, I won't remember it. them when I die, it's but I will remember them while I'm alive. So I mean, I respect it. Yeah, All and a right. hundred, a hundred's a good run. Like hundreds, a hundred's a good pretty run. Pretty good, yeah. dude. Look at Betty. I mean, come on, <laughs> dude. Now. For real though, <laughs> would you rather? Right, and I'm I'm gonna say for the sanctity of the question, we won't say. We'll say smell doesn't count. Okay. Would you rather for the rest of your life have shit stains or pee stains, on like all of your clothing? Just stains? Just the stains. We're going to say smell doesn't count. Sure, sure. That's because fair. if smell counts, I feel like everybody would say pee. Yeah. You know I what mean, I'm saying? I think I'm going to say pee anyways. I mean, I don't know. Because it like pee stains can run like a long way. Shit stains only sit right by your butt. So it depends on how you dress if people are going to see it anyway. I guess, yeah. And I'm a baggy clothes wearer. Yeah. So I say I would take... But smell is not yeah, yeah. smell I'm, excluded. I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm gonna take uh, sh- uh shit stains i don't know i think there's something like less sanitary about the shit stains Could like be. you're like all right like I, I wipe my ass but like you know i've pissed <laughs> myself a few times so. right but if you like, when you pee though you piss down like your entirety of everything like, i mean how do we know you didn't have a gnarly ass shit that didn't run down all your shit could be i'd rather take the could shit be. stains 
I take the shit stairs. Okay. But I wanted, I actually thought about that one myself. I was like, bro, I want to just see what Heston would, if he had to pick one. I kind of figured you would pick. Yeah, P. piss stains. Well, I, I just, I, I feel like I'd be less embarrassed about that too. I just yeah. be like, hey man, like we all pissed ourselves. I just don't feel like anybody like, sees like my butt area. Have like, you ever shit yourself? Shirt, sir. One time. One when time. I was maybe I've done like it like a couple of times. Or 11. 11 or 12. I did it one time. How was it? Uh, very the most uncomfortable thing in my life. <laughs> it Thought really it was a fart. <laughs> Definitely wasn't. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. I like. remember one time I did it in front of my mom in the driveway. Like we were taking groceries inside, and I thought I had to just like let one rip, bro. <laughs> and then like it just happened, and I looked my mom like dead in the eyes. Was like I just shit myself, <laughs> and then I like ran inside. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, it was weird. So I did mine at school. Oh, Nobody knew no. though, because it was like they were like the real like wet ones. Okay. So I thought it was a little, you know, you know, uh, one of them little ones. Sure, sure. One of them little, uh-huh. <laughs> you know, and uh, it wasn't. It Yikes. was like a oh Ooh. wow, that's liquid. Okay. Ooh. So I just went straight to the office. Bro, I, like, I remember this one home. time. I remember somebody legit shit themselves at my high school, and like, dude, like they did not make it, bro. Like it was like all the way down the hallway, bro. Oh, they were school. trying like, though. Shit was crazy. They dude. tried though. You could see the effort, right? Of- they tried to make it. I mean, I, they made it to the bathroom because there was but, shit going yeah, but all the way to the bathroom. But, like, it, it was, was, like, in was, the hallway, like, on the floor. Like, shit was crazy. Like, no pun intended. Shit was crazy, bro. Like, that's. I that, remember it was so bad, that's too. Horrible, like, man. Oh, yeah. It was gnarly. That's horrible. <laughs> all right. Let's go on to our chick list. All right. List. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and end it with the chick list here. And bangers. And then Friday bangers. Um, so, my chick list for this evening and, you know, I had quite a few candidates. So, just, I had just one. Just one this week, yeah. Yeah, I had one, but I'm switching it. Uh, so, I'm actually going to do Rihanna. Thick Rihanna. Thick Rihanna. Thick Rihanna. Even small Rihanna. Chris Bound beat around. I'll I take them both. <laughs> um, she's she's lovely looking. So, Riri, I got okay. you, bae. Shout That's out. That's my chick list for, okay. my, for my week. Mine is going to be Chloe Marshall. She's another plus size model, and she's fine as fuck. She does Holy look good. shit, she does look good. She fine as fuck. Y'all, y'all do yourselves a favor and look up Chloe Marshall. It might not be your cup of tea, but like, goddamn, like I think she's fine as fuck. I think Dame also agrees. Like, she does she, look she, really good, <laughs> like for real. Yeah. So shout out to Homegirl. What's up? Um, and then we'll wrap up with our bangers. Uh, do you have any bangers this week? Uh, I do have a banger for this week. So I'm actually, uh, which I I don't know if I've ever showed love to him on this show, but he's literally almost like probably my favorite artist. Oh, cool. Uh, the weekend. Oh, Bl- I bet. Uh, Blinding lights is is my shout out for this week. I dig it. Go the weekend goes and, hard. And, and uh, I really like um his songs that he made with Daft Punk. Right. Yeah, Starboy yeah. and uh, I feel it Fire, coming. Dude. Oh yeah, they Fire. slap. Fire. Speaking of which, Daft Punk needs to come out with at least one more album. Well, I don't know what the fuck is like y'all are doing. God I mean, damn it. Daft Punk always plays around with us. Like, and then we're gonna see like some cool ass video where they just it's both been come like, out and it's do, like, been like some eight weird, years, dude. Bro, they're, they're Since weird Random like that, Access though. Memories came out, they're it's weird been like that. so long. They're weird like that. Well, I'm worried they might just not make another album. Like, I think they might just be done. But I don't I think, think we'll, they've officially think, retired either, I think though. We'll see them again. I'm hoping for one more album, and this is another thing I'm hoping for too. I'm hoping for one more album and one more tour. Like I want to see they, them. They, they, there'll be a farewell so, tour or something, bro. Damn, I would pay done. any amount of money to go see. them, I would bro. go see them too. Like I'm I like I'm not kidding. Like I like it needs to happen. And I would hope they'd come to Austin, so I wouldn't have. They to would. Get, they so would so probably hit a go, few right, places. So I wouldn't have to go to like Vegas or something to see them. I would hope it'd be. I mean, I would like if it's Daft Punk. That's what I'm saying. I would go, but. Like I, I, Texas is pretty popular. Those are the like, only two places I would go for Daft Punk, and I know that they should be at one of those two. Yeah, whichever oh, one they'll be at, I'd be. Yeah, there. Oh, for man, sure, that'd be so sick. It would be. Oh, it's, it's, it has to be coming, bro. Like it has. Dude, to be. even with COVID, bro, like it has I, to be. I would go see them. It like, has to be a thing. Holy shit! They'll they'll definitely be on a they'll they'll definitely be an iteration of my bangers in the future for sure, without a doubt. They right. they make bangers, bro. Right. Uh, but this week, um, I got two bangers. Uh, from this band called Great Good Fine Okay. And uh, they got two songs that I really like to slap a lot. A lot of their music is solid, but two songs I like to slap by them are Easy and Terrified. Um, they're both solid songs that I like to listen to while I'm working out, but they're also solid, just like cruise music too. So, right. Versatile, enjoyable. I dig it. And uh, even if I'm a little under the weather right now, it's still 
gains and good vibes. Let's go. All day. Hell yeah. All day. So uh, I think that's about it. I think yep. that wraps things up this week. We had a couple of interruptions, but I should have everything edited appropriately <laughs> so that y'all can enjoy this episode with no problems. Um, you know, like I said, if y'all are listening on Friday, we hope you enjoyed your entire week. Your week's over. We hope that we can send you into an awesome weekend. If you're not listening to us on Friday, Saturday, Sunday, you know, later in the week, whatever, we just appreciate your support. We love all you guys. Y'all just keep it coming. And like I said, we will be having videos soon on YouTube. So make sure that y'all subscribe to us just so that y'all can get those notifications to make sure that you actually see our content. And our clips have been popping off on YouTube, like I mentioned before. So, you know, just know that those are there as well. And uh, if you haven't already, find us on social media. We do have Everywhere. a pretty strong following there right now. Um, our Facebook page is continuing to grow as well. And yep. we're pushing for 1,200 right now. So like, yep. let's keep grinding, guys. Let's get it. Hell yeah. <laughs> Y'all be easy. Y'all have a nice weekend. <laughs>